is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who we oh, have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo... I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you're making a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you learn to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 206, NASDAQ is up 53, SP is up 23, gold contract down a buck 20 trading at 14.73 an ounce. We get silver up 16 cents, 17 dollars one cent an ounce. Light sweet crude up 57 cents, 59 dollars 32 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, we get the 10 year. Down 29 ticks, 128.12. 30 year off full point, two points plus six ticks at 156.24 and King Dollar. King Dollar up 216 ticks trading, 97.334. The Euro is at 111. The Yen is at 109.36. And the Pound is at 131 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? Well, first, let's go to the world of the TAFs, the trade system, the whole ball of wax. And what we're looking at right here, supposedly right now, what's happening, folks, is that you get Trump at the White House meeting with his staff. That started at 2.30. Bottom line, they say things are in place, that this thing's going to get uh, signed. And uh, Trump came out this morning and did a tweet that, you know, the deal is going to, big deal is coming. That shot the S&Ps up in an incredible way. So we'll see uh, how this comes into the close. They started the meeting at 2.30 this afternoon. Now, there's so many things happening, folks. One of the biggest things that just came across the tape, though, now this is a monster, too. So check this out. This is pretty intense. We're talking about, you come into the end of the year, you're talking about the repo market, right? Well, the Federal Reserve has come out the last, uh, it was about the last six or seven weeks, and they have basically... First, you know, this had started out as the overnight repo market, folks. Then the Federal Reserve has extended the repo market to 32 days. Now, when they had done that, they were still talking, well, they were talking about giving $25 billion, And the last two times uh, that as the banks came into it, it was oversubscribed. It was $45 billion. I had said at that point, guess what, Ben? They got to do something about it because that's saying that this has to be, that the banks need cash coming into the end of the year because what happens, bottom line is that this is leverage all over the place. That's what it is, okay? So check it out. Coming across the tape just now, you're going to love this figure. The Fed plans $365 billion in repo operations to get through January, okay? So that just came across the deal. That, folks, is one monster deal. <laughs> it's, it's surprising to me. Now, this just happened right when I came on the air, but it's actually surprising to me that that's not spooking the bond market a bit because we know that Federal Reserve came out yesterday with the statement. They listened to Powell, bottom line. There, there's no two ways. It was dovish beyond belief. This number here is telling me it's not only just dovish, but this, tell, this number here is telling me that, guess what? We know there's a lot of cash in the system, 
But this is saying that the banks, man, are leveraged to the hilt. I mean to the hilt, because the bottom line is that um, that's, that's what it is. That, that's, at, the, at the end of the day, every day, that's what the repo market does. They balance your books and say, okay, are you ready for business the next day? Well, guess what? Um, they're going to have plenty of money now to be ready for business. Gold, gold contract out here. What do we have with gold? You know, you had gold much higher before the tweet come out, gives it up on price. Guess what, though? You get monster volume. We took out the swing point, took it out with volume. Each and every time this happens, you go right back topside, you go after it again. You know, this is like a broken record. I said the exact same thing last week. Last week, what we did, we got to 1489. You had 320,000 contracts, gave it up on price, comes back down to 1463. Guess what? We got over that today, 1491, and you get monster volume, too. You get uh, 389,000 contracts already. So, bottom line, what I expect, we're going to be right back up into those higher numbers. We get over, we take a look at the silver market. Silver actually has held some price. Silver uh, got to a price point today of uh, 1718, also huge volume, 109,000 contracts inside the silver market. Uh, bottom line, oh, silver is always higher volatility, there's no doubt about that. And, you know, silver's holding uh, on price a, a bit better also than, than gold is. Right now, you're up 17 cents. Now, notes and bonds, here we go. So, this is a, they hit the note and bond market uh, approximately, uh, last time they really hit it was, uh, let's see, on the November 7th. We, right now, are down 28 ticks in the 10-year, which is a big number. You're at 2.3 2 million contracts, which is a huge number. However, with that being said, you're going into a huge number from November 7th. Now, the low of November 7th in the 10-year is 127.30. We haven't got to it. We got to 128.05, we're at 128.12. I suspect coming into a Friday, yeah, we may test it. But if this goes right after it, right away, without building cars, it won't break it. You know, it could break it, but it'll reject it. That's how these things uh, shake out. Meaning that if it's too fast and too furious before the lower swing that it's going after, it uses all its energy up before it gets to the lower swing. If we go take a look at the 30-year, 30 30-year 30 set up the same way, big volume out here today, 531,000 contracts. You're down two points and three ticks. You're trading out at 156.26. Now, this one's going to be really tough to get to because that's 155. That, that'll be saying like we're going to down another two points. Right? We'll, we'll see if that's the case. Uh, lot, there's going to be a lot of moving parts in this baby, there's no doubt. And if we go over to the dollar, the dollar still looks to me like it's not going to hold price. What we, what we have with the dollar yesterday, dollar goes south yesterday, breaks your swing points, does it with conviction, it had the wide price spread out here. We went from uh, 97, 596 down to the 97.03. Right now, we bounce back today, we're at 97.332. We were as high as 519. You know, we'll see how this shakes out. That's telling me, though, now we're going to start building cars. We're going to start building cars to get down to the lows that were established in June and inside the dollar. And that's 95843. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Come right back.